Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven and we are here once again in our little ranch in Montana, Hearthstone Village. And oh my goodness, I feel so silly and thank you guys for pointing out the obvious to me. You can actually sell any horse, I think, maybe not some of the very beginning horses, but any horse you can sell for diamonds once they reach level 10. And I think we did that at one point and it just didn't click in my head because maybe it was one of the horses one of the horses we sold, I think, was Hero at above level 10? I'm not sure. But we don't have to breed just elite and mythic horses, though they offer the most in diamonds. So we're going to try to get there. But oh my gosh, you guys, do I ever feel silly? Because if you look at Willow, Willow actually is above level 10. She's level 12. And look at that. She's worth 45 diamonds. So that's how many a rare variety horse would be. But if we purebred Rocky Mountains and then we had the tier 3, then a level 10 horse, and I don't think the diamond increases. I don't think the diamond value increases with the levels increasing then she would be worth more diamonds so maybe it does maybe it increases up to level 18 I'm not entirely sure so we're gonna have to experiment with that talk about egg on my face talk about spending my diamonds on nothing but now we know so it's all part of learning the game oh no we've been overtaken in Australia we need to show off how good we are at that race we have a new farmer whose favorite horse is Bella who's now our friend, and unknown, unknown, Michaela, unknown, Malene, and unknown. So basically, could be any of you guys have come and petted our horses. Yay, we've been hired as a stable hand. A new villager is our friend. And Michaela, Malene, and unknowns have come to visit. Wow, social breeding rewards. <laughs> you guys are very excited about the fact we've got some rare horses here. So thank you very much. Thank you guys very much for that. There we go. For all I know, Willow could have a bunch of foals absolutely all over the place that I've just never met. Because she's your guys. So if you guys have come and bred your horses on our farm, let me know. Tell me who you bred to. Let me know what the results were. And I'll be so excited to hear that. But I'm actually really happy to know that if we raise our horses up above level 10, we can sell them for diamonds. Because not so much to get the diamonds, but because it's so nice to think how we can nurture a little horse from a baby. A baby foal born on our ranch all the way up to an adult, a nice healthy level 10 adult. And there's just something so nice about the nurturing and the raising and knowing that it'll all be for a purpose that's worth it. So let's start with this little one, the Forge horse that we managed to get. And it does count as a rare horse. So let's put it down in here, little boy. Oh, 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 and I, I forgot my list of names again. Oh, that's so bad. I need to add more names too. So if you guys have more names, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and collect these. Now, I think the benefit is that when it comes to legendary horses, you can sell them right away for diamonds. So that's why we're going to jump right back in and we're going to try to continue for the last couple weeks remaining because we still have a long time actually to breed up our beautiful Creelio Chestnut and our Dutch Harness Duchess. And we're going to try to continue to breed them and just see if we get a baby Leo because that would be so useful to have two Leos. Then we wouldn't have to raise our horses up to level 10. All right, but it looks like, what do you guys think? It's going to be another Creelio? All right, take your bets. Let me know down below. What do you think it's going to be? The 51% chance on a Creelio? The 37% chance on another beautiful Dutch Harness? Or the 12% chance on another Leo? And if we get a male Dutch Harness... Ooh, which this could be then I actually want to breed him up against April as weird as that sounds Remember it is just kind of game genetics so that we can try to get a tier 2 Dutch harness I think that would be a lot of fun. So we'll start trying to improve our tiers. All right, let's see what we get Dun 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 come on Leo come on Leo come on Leo come on Leo come on Oh, oh yay at least it's a male Dutch harness. So that'll be very useful Yay! So we can try to breed him against April, as weird as that sounds, later. And then we can get a tier 2 Dutch Harness if we're if we're lucky. I think that a Dutch Harness to a Dutch Harness should only produce a Dutch Harness. Alright, and then really quick before we check our achievements and any quest we're working towards, let's come down and feed this new little one. Hi, handsome! I have no idea 
what it would take to, to get some rare horses from you. Oh, he has pretty green eyes. I like him. Oh, you're gorgeous. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's a curious little face, isn't he? Oh, and he loves the carrots! Look at him, he wants more carrots! Well, lucky you, I try to keep plenty of carrots in our, our um, storage. In fact, now that I know how to get the diamonds, I wonder if I should spend some of them upgrading our storehouse. That sounds like a good idea. Yay! So see, what we can do is raise a uh, little Nashim here, whose name will change to one of the names on our list, so that he can be a level 10 horse. And we might try breeding him once or twice before we sell him as well. Oh, oh and it's time to muck out his little stable. No problem with that. Let's spread the hay down. See, I love this part. I love the sense of nurturing and taking care of them. So it actually makes me really excited about the idea that we can actually do this. We can raise them up to level 10 horses before we sell them. Because that seems so much more authentic to me in terms of just like taking good care of them. And it's also the way that we can convert coins into diamonds in the long run because the coins we spend feeding and nurturing and taking care of them out in the field will actually translate into diamonds when they're then ready to sell at level 10. So that's, that's our new strategy that we're going to be trying here. Oh my goodness, are you so hungry? Oh, I can't help it. The babies are just so cute. They really have me wrapped around their little hoof. So all I want to do is stay in here and nurture them and feed them. All right. And actually, I don't think we can upgrade. Can we upgrade the paddock now? Or I, I know the one in France, you have to wait till level 18 to upgrade. Oh my gosh, he is such an a carrot lover. You wait here. I'm going to have to plant more carrots. Oh, he already has a little bit of money. See, we can collect some money on the side. It isn't all just about the money, and it isn't all just about having, uh, like, the diamonds. It's just helpful to become a productive ranch. You know, we have to invest in ourselves. Also, who's this? Hello? Azira Ponraz, whose favorite horse is Charming. Oh, let's go visit back. Let's go see how they're doing. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, look at this. And they've got, oh wow. Their market is nice and upgraded. <gasps> that would explain how we would actually be able to afford getting some of the, the horses from market that are worth diamonds. It's by upgrading. Also, how does everyone upgrade their house? Oh, I'm going to have to figure that out. I feel so silly that I can't figure it out yet. So here is a male Mustang. And here is a male American Indian. So good to know. And what does our friend's French farm look like? So let's check out her French farm. Oh, there's a little baby here. Oh, little female. Oh, she's so cute. See, and their house is upgraded here too. My gosh, I am just not doing, not doing right. Something, something isn't right with upgrading my stuff. I'm so silly. All right, here we go. So let's gather up the red feed and we'll check on Willow in just a second. Leo's hungry. Let's see, can we upgrade? <gasps> we can upgrade the paddock and it is 42 diamonds. So it's 42 diamonds to do that. How's our storage? Let's check how full it is. And to, to upgrade our storage is 85 diamonds. So let's go ahead and we will upgrade the paddock for now. Oh, look at that. Instant upgrade. Oh, and we still have another upgrade to go. Oh my gosh, I wonder how much experience they'll gain when they're out in the paddock now. The bigger the paddock, the more experience your horses gain while they're roaming around. And that really helps to level them up without having to constantly feed them. That helps to level them up while you're busy with other things. So that's very useful. All right, let's check what achievements we've done. Hall of Fame completed 100 steeplechases. Woohoo, go us, yay! All right, so now it's mostly own 10 level horses, t own five or 10 level 10 horses. And, oh, look at that. So we have bred 25 horses. Oh, that's fantastic. We're doing a really good job working on that. Let's see, Midas Touch obtained 500,000 coins. Look how close we are, oh my gosh. Oh, if we buy two more decorations, we'll have the gardener reward. Oh, that's so exciting. So I've been thinking I do want to kind of change things up a little bit because we have this like 
factory area with all the feed lots and I would like to kind of move things around so we need to unlock certain zones let's see does this unlock let's see I wonder how all these spots unlock they're very expensive to unlock though so we'll have to save some money up for unlocking them that's for sure um, I think that can I upgrade Ooh, I can upgrade this Oh, that's the market. I thought it, I thought I had clicked on the train station. I was like, oh, I'm upgrading the train station. But what is in the market right now, actually? Let's go ahead and take a peek. So you can see like a Creelio and a Morgan, an American Paint. They're for sale. Another Morgan. So what happens, I believe, if... Um, what's this? Oh, and then we can sell our horses here, too. Okay, so that's how that works. But if we um, upgrade the market, then you can get rare horses. So, oh, it only would cost like a thousand to upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, so let's go check on our uh, horses in France. Now that we know we're going to raise them up to like level 10 and then sell them, I feel a lot more comfortable with nurturing a few of the babies in the stables. There we go. We need to get this paddock expanded. I can't wait till we have enough for that. Oh, hey, what's this? Ooh, lots of extra coins. Don't mind if I do. There we go. Tons and tons of extra coins everywhere. So exciting. We still have this little girl. So who are all of our horses right now? We have Primrose, a wonderful, beautiful little Primrose. Then we have Leda, the Breton horse, who we're going to try to raise. And it looks like we've got... Let's see, Bramble, I might need to put you away for a minute, because what do we get here? The Holsteiner, the special little foal, and it's a male. Oh my goodness, and look at him. Oh, he's got good speed. Do I need to sell him for now? Look at his colors. He's very, very pretty. Oh my goodness, is he ever pretty. I think we might have to temporarily just sell him, because he's just a special rarity, so he won't be worth as many diamonds as if we raised this little girl well she's also a special rarity um she's also already level three so we'll sell the little boy for now because i want to try breeding our american paint against some more horses all right there you go batter very nice to meet you it's not really productive economically to continue selling the horses so i don't think we'll breed another one until i know exactly what we want hmm there was a male Dutch harness. That's what we're trying to do, isn't it? Breed up. We have another male Dutch harness now, though, because he's he's over. Oh, and we can breed him to, to her? To Primrose? We'll do that. We'll bring Primrose uh, a mate to come over here and breed up a level tier Dutch harness next. That's our next goal. So do I want to start, like, breeding our American paint against somebody? I could have sworn there was someone who we needed to breed our American paint against. Was it you? To get you? Canadian Pacer, Andernes, Ardenes, I mean, Canadian Pacer, American Indian, hmm, I know there was someone we were looking at and we were going to try to breed towards, is it the Hackney, the Frisian, American Paint and a Morgan to get a Frisian, you know, I can't remember right now. So, I'm going to go ahead, because I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to focus on on trying to get uh, the Dutch Harness for now. Because I actually really enjoy the Dutch Harnesses a lot. I think they're very pretty. They've got great stamina. Let's come in and take care of the baby. So, we're going to focus on that right now, you guys. Getting some beautiful Dutch Harnesses. We'll raise this little one just to see what she turns into. Anybody we could breed her to so that we could get some interesting new varieties. Oh, there you go, little one. Are you going to want some big food? Are you going to want some big food soon? Lena, what are you going to be like in the races? So actually, I do think that's probably the next smart thing to do, is to try to breed the level the t level 3 horses, so the tier 3. All of the ones we have right now are not purebred, so they are tier 1, and I think we should get everybody up to tier 3. Uh, who we want to have like regularly around like our Rocky Mountains, our Dutch Harness that we're really in love with, any of the other breeds that we really fall for. And of course we'll continue to try to get another female Leo. Oh look at her now, she's level 4. She grows up so fast. 
Oh, and now you want granola bars? Okay. In fact, while we're over here, let's go ahead and expand. Let's spend some of the money expanding this area. There. Oh, and then we need to upgrade this market for sure. And now I can't move it. <laughs> That's my bad. I'm going to keep the breeding house. I want to keep it kind of right at the edge of the stables there. And then we'll come over to the bakery. And I'm going to upgrade this bakery as well. And buy a second bakery. So that we are ready and prepared. Uh, in fact, I kind of want to move. Ooh, and I can upgrade the grand stable too. Let's kind of move. Well, I can't move the bakeries now. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> can't move any of these things now, but we'll start rearranging things here on our French, our French ranch and making it look very nice. And let's feed the baby. Oh, just one granola bar. Is that all you want? It looks good. It looks good enough for me to eat. There you go, precious. And there we go. So we have our new goal, you guys. Oh my gosh, she's, she's going to be ready to like grow up after that. So cute. We have our new goal, and it is going to be to raise everybody up so that they are going to be level 3 tier. We can't do that on the same horse. You have to breed against the same species, but you'll see how it is. Plus, we'll start visiting y'all's ranches and seeing how everything goes. All right, let's come down to Mr. Wants to Eat Some Carrots here. And we'll probably just start randomly breeding some more of our horses to see what we get. All right, I love his eye color, for example. He's gorgeous. What do you think of your apples, Mr. Sir, huh? He likes them. Or, excuse me, carrots. They're not apples. Carrots, carrots. Oh, and now you want a carrot cupcake? Okay, he's adorable. I kind of want to name him, like, Carrot Top or something like that. Oh, I don't have any carrot cupcakes to give you. I'm sorry. I'll work on making some more. But what we can do with him, until then, is we can send him out to the fields. And it's a little bit expensive to do that. As you can see now, because our fields are so big. But he's going to gain so much experience by the time he comes back that I would put money on it that he's going to be level 5. And then I can actually do the same thing with these guys, but I'm going to do it later because I'm going to race them a little bit later. Um, off camera because it's just the, the Australian races to earn up those coins we just spent. Phew! Well, that was a bit of a whirlwind and a mouthful, but there we go, you guys. Sorry it took so long, but we have got everything kind of tidied up. We know where we're going to be working. We know how we're going to be working on making our farm and our ranch prosper, on getting more diamonds. And I'm really happy. I just love this. I love spending time with our horses. I love spending time with you guys and with seeing how you take care of your ranches. And I can't wait to turn our ranch into something a little bit more more pretty <laughs> a little bit more beautiful than just functional so we'll be working on that in the future too i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day and i will see you next time Bye bye